Bowser plays Bowser. Um, Yoshi Man is... It'd be too easy to guess Yoshi, wouldn't it? I, I, from what I have on my notes, he does have he does play Yoshi. He's also played Bowser Jr. before, and uh, and King Dedede uh, in the past. I believe that was last week where where he went those two characters. Uh, yeah, so we'll have be Bowser to see. versus Bowser Jr. Uh, father and son. This is going to be a bit of an interesting one. Um, Bowser Jr. relies a lot on throwing out a couple of projectiles and then trying to mix up people's shields with side B, but Bowser, in a lot of ways, doesn't really have to respect those. He can extend a lot of hits off of Bowser Jr.'s projectiles, uh, and then he just plays out of shield so beautifully, so... And he has big hitboxes. His moves are massive, so Yoshi Man is just gonna have to be so careful. Yeah, I feel like this is gonna be a, a very volatile matchup between these two because they can kind of beat up on each other but ooh, I mean, Bowser spot. being the heavy character that's a great amount of damage I mean that neutral B uh, again I said it before it doesn't feel like it does a lot but when you're getting hit by it it racks up percentage and that being said it's still just about dead even here yeah, right now we're seeing Yoshi Man try to take control of the stage set up a ledge trap but they go through both of the follow-up options in a period of time where Geonosis is already able to get back on. So while, you know, Yoshi Man was caught in all that lag of the down B, Geonosis took the time to get back on. Beautiful stage spike to be able to take that one. The nice spacing on, um, you know, the mech, uh, I forgot what it's called, but self-destruction, something like that. Um, oh my gosh. Ooh, what a follow-up and converting that next up B. I mean, Yoshi wow. Man's use of that up B has been fantastic so far. Yeah, but Geonosis is finally able to close out that stock. Um, once again, Yoshi Man is just like really, really intent on uh, trying to get something started with just like up be a neutral. That time, Geonosis just jumps back, waits a little bit, and then chooses to get back on, uh, making sure they don't get stage spiked. Yeah, smart play weaving around that up B, but I mean, the damage already has been done. Make that 100% on Geonosis. Has to find a way out of the corner. Roll back or uh, run back. F smash. Yoshi man takes the second stock, and with only 28, he's looking to take the first game for Ryder. Yoshi man is just playing patient right now. He's just waiting. Uh, maybe letting go of his controller a little bit too much, but maybe he just was like so confident in the idea that Geonosis would whiff, uh, would mash a little bit in the wrong way. Um, I like those kinds of things, you know. But the important thing is not to just completely stand still. Uh, it's just a standstill, and then at the very last possible second, he threw out a quick option. Um, that down smash, not going to be able to take it quite yet. Such a scary position to be in. Ooh, Geonosis was ready for that cross-up. Ooh, I, the, a third aggressive landing there for Yoshi Man, actually catching Geonosis off guard and allowing Yoshi Man back to stage, but... There's that tough guy armor coming through. You can't jab Bowser, and the side B will be able to take that stock and put us in a last stock situation. Excellent parry from Geonosis, catching Bowser Jr. Just pressing buttons on that side plat, and just like that, Geonosis has effectively like made up almost all of this damage. Um, and you know you have to just consider just how heavy Bowser is sometimes. You know, what is the same amount of percent for him uh, just might mean a lot less in the grand scheme of things. <gasps> Beautiful downer. This could be it. Wanted the down be out of it. An aggressive uh, option. Gets the forward air. Can't find the second one. That was nearly the stock in a forward smash. Maybe? No, the side B not going to be able to do it either. Can Yoshi Man find his way out of the corner here? Oh, Mecha that was Koopa. such a risky Mega Mecha Koopa. Yeah, Geonosis could have definitely like pressed any button in that position, but maybe uh, was just respecting it a little bit too much. So that time, Yoshi Man got the falling hitbox of the up B, but because Geonosis was so close to the stage, he was able to land before it confirmed into the projectile. Good wait. Oh, oh that's it. That should be it. Side B gonna be able to do it. Geonosis clutches out game number one as a full stock behind he's able to make the comeback victory happen and keep Ryder at zero wow this lead from wichita state has gone from pretty good to absolutely incredible at this point it just keeps on climbing i mean 7-0 with that one stock victory and i mean 
Right towards the end there, I think the nerves kind of got to both of them because there were a lot of, you know, unsafe or just, you know, hunting options, you know, both of them trying to, to fish for that final kill. Uh, I mean, just that last minute, it felt like was very tense. Could have gone either way, but Geonosis able to finally get the punish that they needed. And it was at this point, you know, you get the forward smash from Yoshi Man to take that second stock. And then Geonosis, just the survivability, uh, you know, Ready? armors through with Tough Guy and then eventually mm -hmm. just found enough stray yeah. hits and was able to take that stock. There was very little that Bowser actually has to feel from that multi-jab, especially at ledge. Um, I'm not really sure, like, once again, if Tough Guy scales with Goosent, but if it doesn't, uh, he might just be able to actually kind of get his way out of that situation. So we'll have to see what the uh, the move is here is in game two. Back to PS2, and I like the follow-ups quickly from Yoshi Man. He kind of got away from it earlier. It is, this is a hard option to pull off off of that uh, that up B, but he oh was using gosh. it very well at the start of the match. But I mean, already that that flame breath 32. Wow, Hoodie just running up and connecting the down smash on Yoshi Man. Yoshi Man gonna be trying to land onto Geonosis' a shield. You saw the way that he was standing there, he was just waiting for that opportunity to come by. Great catch on the high recovery. Geonosis forced that option out of Yoshi Man, positioned himself so well. Yoshi Man fishing a little bit too much for that up tilt. Geonosis had a good idea, but just. Mm. I don't know about that coverage. Jump. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, 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 uh, again, you know, we saw another. We saw in game one of uh, the first set, someone kind of jump back into a projectile. I think it's just kind of, you know, you're, you're watching the player and what the player is doing, and then you remember, oh, wait, there's a there's a projectile I I have to dodge. Oops. My bad. <laughs> I have to keep my eyes in two places at once. Uh, right there, oh my gosh, Mecha Koopa and that upbeat being sandwiched between those two is a nasty spot to be in. Sets that up once again. Look at this, every single recovery option. Now this is option coverage, my friend. Where Geonosis is just struggling to be able to get back on. Where he really is truly limited in every sense of the word. <gasps> That's the right idea, but Yoshi meant just a pixel too high. Ooh, great catch though on the side B. That's not gonna be the stock quite yet. A pivotal second stock here, as we saw. Yoshi Man was up a full stock in the last Ugh. set, could not get the stock he needed. And that forward smash, a little greedy. That side B not gonna be able to take the stock quite yet. And percents back to nearly wow. dead even. Though. What a trade too. Both of them were just going at it like, yeah, who's gonna who's gonna pull the trigger first on this? Geonos has waited for Yoshi Man just to get close enough, and then was able to finally connect that side B. Um, good wait, good and uh, patience on that shield. Just connect to Gaw F smash, catching Yoshi probably idle, perhaps in the startup of another move. That's one side B. Good damage. Quick 23, make that 38 off the up B, waiting for the option for the platform. <gasps> oh, he wanted the shield break off the down B. I like the idea. Unable to get the connect on it, though. And there's the forward smash to take the second stock off Geonosis, but 60% on Yoshi Man. He has to find a way to take this stock to extend the set. Otherwise, Geonosis will take this set in a quick two game fashion. Geonosis right now is doing a good job of jumping and sort of stalling with some of these double jumps, making themselves really difficult for Yoshi Man to hit. Gonna be waiting at ledge, Yoshi Man finishing through up tilt a little bit too much without actually timing that move. We've seen a couple times now Geonosis wait for that jump uh, uh, on recovery, and it's nearly netted him a kill a couple times now. I think he's starting to catch on to the drift of it. Another quick forward throw to get Yoshi Man off stage. He was, ready, he was waiting for it. Yeah, um, every single Bowser Jr., they just keep one going. They, you know, they keep wanting to go high. Going high is a really good mix up sometimes, but Yoshi Man going out the down smash, almost taking it. Whoa. Ooh, double forward smash. Wait, rapid jab, maybe? Oh, yes, no. it is going to take the stock. So, you saw how Bowser didn't get affected by the first few hits at all. You saw how he just stood through them. He had, he had a tough guy. He just needed to press anything. He could have pressed side B, could have pressed jab, 
could have, uh, you know, really gone for anything. But, whoa! Oh, no! No! He did! He pressed no. grab and it missed! Oh, but then that's he still, so he still could have tried it again! Why did grab whiff? Oh, Why did that whiff? No. Thank you, Devin, for for man. The I want to go play melee. That that I is... have got to go play melee. What? Why? And then it's not as though Bowser even has a bad stand to grab either. He has like a pretty good one. That is, I I'm in shock. Cause you're right. I mean, it's oh, that's why I was confused by rapid jab at the ledge. I thought, okay, well, tough guy should, you know, probably yeah. do the trick here. I can't believe, look at the claw, the claw goes through the glove, the boxing glove of the, <laughs> of the cart, and somehow Yoshi Man escapes, and so we'll be continuing here into set number three, and a character switch on top of that, Yoshi Man switching to King Dedede, battle of two heavy characters here. Oh my gosh, this is a pretty good matchup for King Dedede, he gets so many follow-ups. Uh, low please some follow-ups and grab stuff uh, on Bowser and conditions his shield really, really well. So this can really go either way, honestly, but... Poor Geonosis, man. That, that fe really felt like that grab should have connected. I'm, I'm, I'm upset for him, you know? It's probably still in the back of his mind as he's playing this match, but, I mean, this is a pivotal match again. Ooh, down air actually going to be able to take the stock. Wow. And I mean, we've said it before, we'll say it again. To <gasps> fall behind two sets early, it is hard to come back from. If Yoshi Man can at least get something on the board here for Ryder, it would be massive despite the lead that Geonosis has racked up. But that dash attack on the ledge going to seal up that first stock. And so now back to just about even. Yeah. Yoshi Man keeps going for high recoveries. Geonosis has been consistently punishing them. Um, I would just like to see a little bit more variation. There's nothing wrong with going for those high recovery options. So as long as you're picking some better like places and times uh, to be going for them, gets the spike hitbox of the down air. I was expecting like a back air. That would have been like a funky conversion. Finds the back air there. 128. Yoshi Man's still alive. Another high recovery. That does a surprising amount of knockback, and this is a bold option from Yoshi Man. Risking everything, missing on that one, and uh, no punish from it for Geonosis. Who tries to go off for the edge guard. Doesn't find the two frame quite yet. That side B is going to be able to do it. That DI definitely did not look optimal, but you know, it is 128 blue cents, so I'm A-OK -okay with that. Finds one up B, tries to go for the tech chase, expecting a directional air dodge in. Did not find it, though. Good forward to get back to Sage. Gets the Nair as well and punish there on the shield or on the uh, down tilt on the shield and already 85 racked up onto Yoshi Man. That gets down, a down throw. throw. Yeah, he gets a bit of Sage control. As a result, tries to maybe go through to both like the ambiguous like ledge trump neutral get up catch. No feel. Geonosis had no feel in his body at all. That up B nearly gonna take the stock as well. If you're Yoshi Man, some of these risky options just wow. have not paid off, and the up smash gonna do it. Geonosis takes game number three, and Wichita State take the first two sets. Mm hmm. This entire game, Geonosis just waited. That's that's how he was able to win this one. Yoshi Man was always the first one to initiate, kept picking aggressive options that could have either just been punished by waiting, or by jumping, or by shielding. Look at that, just waited for it, you know? He sat on shield, had nothing to fear. Um, Yoshi Man, instead of resetting the situation in a lot of these uh, circumstances, just kept fighting, 